From ABC News, live in Times Square, this is Good Morning America with Robin Roberts and George Stephanopoulos. Get ready for some daunting numbers. According to the National Coalition on Healthcare, American families spent an average of $6,000 out of pocket on health insurance and other medical costs in 2009. And that's a number expected to rise to $9,000 by 2012. So in today's edition of America's Money, we ask financial contributor Melody Hobson, president of Ariel Investments, to tackle this problem. And she's come up with at least five ways to cut costs without sacrificing quality of care. Hey, Melody, this is important stuff here. And the first step, tip is something that I hadn't heard about before, discount clubs for health care. That's right. These are discount medical plans. Think of it like a Sam's Club or a Costco, but for but for medical plans. You pay a monthly fee somewhere in the neighborhood of twelve to thirty dollars to cover your entire household. And you get discounts on everything from vision to dentist to chiropractors to pharmacy drugs to a host of doctors. You save a significant amount of money. Now here what is what I must underscore. This is not insurance. So you don't pay a premium. You don't pay a deductible. You can't be denied. You pay the cost out of pocket, and you can save some significant money. So an example, there's something called AmeriPlan USA. You'll save 65% on things like crowns and fillings in terms of dental work, 80% on preventative care like getting your teeth cleaned. So these are big, big savings. But don't go d ditching your insurance because of this. I'm not suggesting that at all. Right, this fills really in the gaps. That's right. So this is for people, maybe you have a huge deductible and you can go this route instead, or you've run through all of your insurance coverage for the whole year and you need a procedure, you can go this way, or you don't have any insurance at all, this could be an option. You can also get a discount plan if you belong to a certain kind of organization like a union. That's right. So what they do is they use all their combined buying power to get you discounts. ARP is a good example. You get 30% off on eyeglasses, 20% off on contacts. Unions like the AFL-CIO will provide you with discounts on all sorts of medical procedures and vision, dental, etc. And even your own company outside of the insurance they provide you, they may have some discounts for you. Ask your human resources office. And now there are even websites where you can literally comparison shop for various various procedures? Very few people do this, but I have to tell you, it can save you a lot of money and it is a great idea. So what you do, there are websites like pricedoc.com where you can type in the procedure that you need and your zip code and it spits out a host of doctors in your area and their price for the procedure. And in some cases, they'll say this is our lowest price. In others, they'll say this price is negotiable. And in some cases, they'll say, make me an offer. Now. The one thing to keep in mind, lowest price does not necessarily mean the best service. So you still want to ask for referrals or even run the list by your primary care physician to see what they think. Two more quick items before we go. New ways to save on vision, uh, items, uh, glasses and, and, and things to help with your vision and also cutting costs on prescription drugs. Okay, so vision, vision discount plan is a way to go. Also keep in mind if you go to an ophthalmologist to get glasses, that's the most expensive way to do it. You're better off at a Walmart or a Target or a Costco, things like that, where they actually even have an ophthalmologist there, or 1-800-CONTACTS if you need contacts. And then prescription drugs, there's something called formulary, where you ask your insurance company, tell me all the drugs you cover, you give that list to your doctor, and then they use that before they make a prescription for you. You can ask your doctor for samples and there is something called the partnership for prescription assistance ppa for people who are having a really hard time paying for their drugs they've helped six million people since 2005 with 2500 different prescriptions okay melody thanks very much you have a lot more tips on our website including ways to get deep discounts on back to school vaccinations we need all that at abcnews.com gma